Maybe you've seen on social media or known someone who is doing a Whole30 this January. And if you've ever heard of it, the Whole30, it's a sort of food elimination experiment to help you see which foods make you feel the best. Now, the co-founder of the Whole30 is out with a brand new cookbook called Friends and Family with recipes that are like perfect for navigating your way through different food situations you might find yourself in while doing a Whole30 because that's kind of a hard thing to do, right? Socially. It, yeah, it can be. Yeah. Welcome to the show, of course. Melissa Hartwig Urban joins me now and she's back. Thank You've you. You've been here before and this is I so have. exciting. I always have so much fun on this show and I'm really excited to feature a few of the recipes from oh. the Whole30 Friends and Family. And I, you know, up until a couple years ago when my sister did the Whole30, I was under the misconception that it was a diet and yeah. it is not a diet. It's not a diet. And no. like in, in terms of the way that you eat, that word diet has kind of been co-opted to mean yeah. like weight loss and restriction and right. deprivation and willpower. I describe the Whole30 like a 30-day self-experiment designed to help you reset your health habits and relationship with food. And what are some of the rules around Whole30 that yeah. you follow when you're doing it? So it's just a 30-day elimination designed okay. to pull foods out of your diet that the scientific literature have shown can be problematic. And you don't know whether they'll be problematic for you until you pull them out reintroduce them at the end of the 30 days and compare your experience. Okay. So, so it's kind of like when you introduce new foods to babies, like yeah. to see if they're allergic or not, right? That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. It sort of allows you, you know, every nutritionist is mm -hmm. like, there's no one size fits all when it comes to diet. And people yeah. are like, cool, I buy into that. But how am I supposed to figure out what works right. for you? This is how. Okay. So we're taking out dairy. We're taking out legumes. Yeah. It's a little bit of an okay. intimidating list, but okay. don't worry. We've okay. got no added sugar, no alcohol <laughs> yeah. for 30 days. Okay. No grains, dairy, or legumes. Okay, you say all that, and I know. it sounds terrible to me, but then I'm looking at this food here, I'm like, sign me up, I'm in. I know. I'm in. There's so much. I really like to focus on what you are eating for okay. the 30 days. It's meat, seafood, and eggs, lots and lots of vegetables and fruit, yep. natural healthy fats, fresh herbs and spices, and we get so creative with our recipes, yep. like nobody is starving. This looks amazing. So what are we making right now? So these are three recipes from the new Whole30 Friends and Family, okay. which is all about kind of designing menus for everyday social occasions. So when you're going to be going to the big game or yes. a party at somebody's house, yeah, you can bring this party. and not be starving. Book club, exactly. Yeah. You know, people, I want you to be able to share the social experience, but still honor your health commitments. Right. And even if you're not doing a Whole30, if you're just gluten-free or dairy-free, these recipes are for perfect. Okay. So the first recipe we have is this plantain crostini. So it's not awesome. bread. We're using awesome. plantains as yeah. a base. Which with this beautiful avocado jicama salsa. Okay, so a couple of words that maybe people aren't used to. Okay, jicama, jicama and, plantain. and plantain. Both amazing yes. foods, and plantains are different than bananas. They are, you so th these are what plantains look like. Look this, look I look find at them beautiful. at my local Spanish market. They're gonna look a little bit like they're yep. bad, but this is the perfect texture. They're a little bit soft, they're okay. very ripe, and then all you do is kind of cut them on a bias, put a little bit of avocado okay. oil on them, roast them in the oven for about 15 minutes. Oh, these are they're a little roasted. starchy, okay. a little bit sweet. My son loves them. Okay. Kids love them. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a great sub for bread as the base. Yeah, right. Great. And then jicama is actually a root vegetable that almost is like a little bit of a sweeter water chestnut. Exactly. Okay. Um, and we use that with our salsa. So we've got diced jicama, we've got mm -hmm. diced avocado, diced tomato, a little bit of oil, red wine vinegar, garlic, green onion, and parsley. That's everything that goes into this fresh salsa. So am I your sous chef? Am I mixing all Do this it. together? Yeah, pour it Do it. Does it matter the order? No. Okay. No, this, this is, the is, this is how I like to cook. It's easy, yeah. it's easy. So we just throw it all in a bowl, kind of mix it up. I okay. Have, I have like a little cheater method where I've got this slicer where I just stick the avocado in and like put the lid down and it dices it for me. Uh, done. So once this is roasted, you're then just going to top with the jicama salsa. And these are just nice little bite appetizers that okay. your guests can enjoy. Totally Whole30 compliant. Nobody's going to look at this and think this is like weird party food. Right, right. Yeah. You're, not the, is... you're not the strange person no. bringing like cardboard no. tasting crackers. And people are going to say it's delicious because right. the plantains, when they're ripe, are a little bit sweet. So cool. And then you get to talk to them about what you're doing, like the Whole30 stuff yes. when you're at the party, right? Yeah. And I they're love... going to be super impressed by I you. love pulling these recipes out and then not even saying saying Whole30 and then at the end when people are like, yeah. oh, that was delicious. Can I have the recipe? You can be like, it's in my Whole30 cookbook. Well, well, Surprise. That. Surprise. <laughs> okay, I'm still mixing, but what, what okay. else are we talking about so here? Because we, this all looks fantastic. We also have this overnight um, taco breakfast casserole. So if you have overnight house guests oh, this is great. and you want to do a little bit of prep, yes. it's kind of like a frittata without the crust. So there's ground beef or ground chicken or ground turkey in it, some eggs, there's salsa that you mix right in. So it's so simple and to prepare. No cheese in that. No cheese. No cheese. Fresh herbs, a little bit tell. of avocado, a little bit of um, 
cilantro mm -hmm. over the top. The best part is you can bake this the night before, right. pull it out the next morning, and either reheat it or eat it cold before you go to work. And everybody's and like, oh my delicious. God, you're the best hostess we've I ever know. seen. How did you do this? And the you're kitchen like, this is even clean. It's 10 minutes. Yeah. Really? It's 10 minutes to prep. It's oh so simple. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, and then we also have, you know, at your local health food store, there's always this like gorgeous chicken salad. Yes. yes. But it's always full of who knows what in the mayo. Right. We have our own version of this Sonoma chicken salad. So it's homemade mayo, which okay. only takes five minutes. Okay. And grapes and pecans and celery, and you mix it all up. You can serve oh, it over lettuce. And you, you can have mayonnaise because mayonnaise is just eggs and oil. When you make it yourself, yeah. eggs, oil, lemon juice, um, yeah, a little Some bit of mustard powder. powder it's so like easy. Well, this sounds yep. amazing. Yeah. So wait, I, I finished. Yeah. And I feel like I need to spoon this on yeah, here. Is that what we're on. doing? Absolutely. And this is it. This is, this is the whole recipe. This is the whole recipe. Yeah, again, the whole thing just takes a little while. You can cut the plantains even more on a bias so that they're longer. I'm bad um, at scooping. See, this is where I'm at in the... You're fine. You know what, though? It's all going to taste the same in your belly. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Nobody's going to judge. No. Do I get to eat one? Yes, please can do. Can I do that right yeah, now? They're delicious. Okay. Yeah, and plantains can be cooked with all, I mean, used in all sorts of recipes. Ab yeah, my do son absolutely loves them. Do you have more than one them. recipe in this book? We might or? have more than one with okay. plantain. I'm not sure, okay. but they're just like a nice starchy okay. vegetable. Right, and a good starter. Exactly. And yeah. how, how is the book set up? It's set up by menu for social occasion. Okay. So it's got book club, it's got okay. brunch, it's got um, Sunday dinner with the family, yes. it's got game day, it's got book night or movie night with your family. So awesome. I don't want you to miss out on those traditions right. just because you're doing the whole 30. Let me provide you with menus. That's amazing. Because then you're thinking about who's going to be at the party, yeah. what are they going to like. Yeah. Like when we're talking about game day or game night with yeah. the family, you got to deal with kids. And, yes, and who we are terrible. Oh, God, I have two of them. They're terrible eaters. <laughs> but we still have. Have like wings and ranch. See, that's what right? I'm talking about. So if you can do Whole30 compliant versions of your family favorites, you're golden. Right, right. And there are mocktails. There are even some oh, fruit-based desserts. Yeah, for oh, sure. So you feel like you can, you you can act like you're buzzed after you yeah. have a mocktail, right? It's all, it's all pretending. It's all the deliciousness yeah. with none of the hangover. Right. So yeah, you'll thank me the next that day. That is actually a really good sell. Yeah. And you've been doing Whole30. When did you guys start this? Two, you started this 2009. Wow. 11, 11 years. years. I know, it feels like. So you've had a decade of Whole30. A decade. And millions of people going through the program yep. now. We've got eight books, so many resources, tons of Whole30 approved products that so you can make your own mayo or you can just go buy the Whole30 mayo that has the Whole30 approved yep. logo on it. Yeah, yep. we've, we've never made it easier. And the producer here at New Day Northwest, he said, oh my gosh, yeah. you don't know. Like two years ago, I did Whole30 and it completely changed the way I ate. Yeah. I, I no longer eat Dairy or gluten, am I right, Joseph? Yeah. Dairy or gluten, he's done with them. And it's not that those foods are bad, it's no. that I want you to figure out how they work for you and yeah. if you decide they don't serve you, mm -hmm. then you can now make educated, informed decisions. And eating like this becomes so simple. Well, and this is just delicious. Yeah, it I is mean, delicious. I may be getting the book just because yeah. it's amazing Yeah, and food, it, again, you don't right? even have to yeah. do a Whole30. <laughs> right. But totally. we have so many people doing the January yeah. Whole30 right now who are already talking about better energy, better sleep, Great. improved mood, reduced bloating, yeah. Skin is clearing up. Yeah. Self-confidence is improving. Right. Yeah. Well, you have great skin. Thank you. And look very well rested. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much, Melissa. Uh, please head over to the New Day website to find the recipe for the plantain crostini uh, that Melissa just showed us this right. morning. And I'm about to eat when I'm done talking. But up next, a brand new round of Hot Topics with our radio friends from The Wake Up Show. We'll be right back.